We've got a big day today as we will be talking about FOMC, diving into the range report provided by our partners over at Genie.io, and as always, we'll be jumping into the charts with Bitcoin prior to that, so stick around. If you want to be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys, let's rally, yeah. If you want to be crypto savvy. Good morning and welcome back to Be Crypto Savvy. It is Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. You made it halfway through the week. Congratulations. We are moving into the FOMC meeting. Today should be an interesting day. I'm excited to see what happens uh, with the price action. And actually, I might as well bring this up now for anybody that's interested in seeing the price action of Bitcoin live while we find out what's going on with the FOMC meeting. Later today, I'm going to do a live uh, broadcast during the speech from Jerome Powell. And what I'll do is I'll jump down into the 15 minute time frame on our trading view charts so we can get a really good uh, view of exactly how Bitcoin uh reacts to the to the news as we're getting it live from Jerome Powell himself so that will be uh, about 2 30 this afternoon I'll, what I'll end up doing is jumping on the live stream just a few minutes uh, before that to get things uh, set up as far as the chart and whatnot and I'm gonna pretty much remain silent and I'm just gonna let Jerome Powell uh, you know go through his spiel and you know announce what I'm sure is going to be a quarter point rate hike uh, bringing us up to 500 to 525 basis points and I will just let the charts kind of uh, you know do their thing throughout that speech and uh, and we'll leave it at that so at any rate we are looking at the daily time frame and the price right now is currently sitting at twenty eight thousand six hundred and thirteen dollars now if you caught our video on Monday we talked about the expectation that we had here at Be Crypto Savvy was to be uh, sitting between about 27,500 and 28,000 uh, going into the meeting. So unless we see that price creep back just a little bit within the next six and a half hours, it is a little bit higher than what we were anticipating, which might indicate a little bullishness for the for the very short term now we do have our 20 day moving average just below us here actually let me zoom in there we go let me get some of these price points up here for you there we are let me move this one down sorry adjusting on the fly so here we are this is where we are currently sitting you can see this 20 day moving average is below us right here sitting at about $27,775. Right below that, we also have this short-term uh, support band right here, uh, and that is starting at $27,481. Now, on this small time frame, our point of control is at 28000 even. However, do remember that that changes if we zoom out. So that volume indicator is something that will change depending on what is on the visible screen. Uh, so that is why that is called the visible range indicator. Anything on the visible screen is what this visible range indicator is taken into account as far as data. So my short term anticipation going into this meeting is to probably settle right around this point of control line that's at 28,000. I do see this probably settling back just a little bit. It might not even come back quite that far. If we actually jump back over to the CME FedWatch tool, you can scroll down here and you can see that about 86% of the market is already pricing in a 0.25 increase. So there's 13.9% of the market not currently anticipating that. They're anticipating no rate hike. So what does this tell me? Well, this tells me that almost 14% of the market isn't prepared to see that 0.25 increase. So it needs to adjust accordingly. Now, this is a constantly changing number and graph right here. So this has plenty of time to adjust prior to the meeting, which again is in six and a half hours, which is why I was saying that this price still has plenty of time to settle back in closer to that $28,000 level. Or the other alternative is if we do not see that adjust prior to the to the announcement, 
well then that's where we will see that adjustment during the meeting and you know I mentioned doing that live stream and I'm telling you that we're gonna see a lot of fluctuation my my gut is telling me that when the announcement is first made we're gonna see the price action of Bitcoin uh, drop pretty considerably and uh, and then we'll see a, a pretty solid rebound you know I honestly feel that there is you know a, the possibility for a lot of price action and price movement within uh, you know the crypto space but just speaking on Bitcoin here specifically you know we have the the interest rate hikes which there's still 14 percent of the market that's not anticipating the uh, the 0.25 increase and then that's going to be followed by the Jerome Powell speech which we very well could get a clear indication to whether or not they're planning on pausing interest rate hikes which would be very bullish for the market I feel like I think that there would be a possibility if that announcement is uh, you know if that announcement is made today I really think this thing could could take off to the upside now again prior to the FOMC meeting right now at the time of recording it is 750 so I do anticipate probably seeing this pullback slightly during the FOMC meeting I do expect to see even more of a pullback possibly testing as low as that $27,500 level uh, or within that band somewhere before reversing and going back to the upside now if at that time Jerome Powell were to also announce that they were going to pause future interest rate hikes that's where I believe that this thing could really start to to move to the upside I believe that piercing that thirty thousand dollar level again would be a definite possibility uh, and then you know the possibility of breaking that thirty thousand five hundred dollar level would also be in the cards as well I did want to get this recorded before eight o'clock eight o'clock in the morning is when that range report refreshes for the next 24 hours so at eight o'clock we'll be jumping into that and just like that it's eight o'clock the power of recording now I do just want to jump right into this as I want to get this video out as soon as possible this morning for you at the time of recording shortly after eight o'clock you can see the price of Bitcoin is trading just over twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars moving on to the volatility forecast opportunity zone and relative value now if we compare this uh, first few days here to what this looked like on Monday I was curious if this would update during uh, you know the the last uh, couple updates and it did not now I was curious about this on Monday as to you know the range of the forecast as you know if you look over here we've got an eleven thousand dollar gap here the next day we've got an eleven thousand dollar gap uh, ten thousand dollar gap so basically this really does you know support a very volatile uh, possibility uh, going over the next few days which is what we were talking about uh, you know back here in trading view the possibility of really seeing a lot of volatility which is what I'm thinking this forecast is most likely seeing as well now if we move on down we're not gonna pay attention to the candles over on this report as we were just in trading view but I do want to stop here at hourly RSI over seven days now you can see that we are pretty high here uh, a little close closer towards the overbought area than the underbought for sure so what my expectation to see here is you know once that uh, quarter point increase is announced the kind of pullback I would expect would actually look similar to this back here and what that would do is allow us to reset that strength index uh, lower towards that underbought area giving us that strength in order to make a reversal back to the other side uh, moving in the upward direction again I do expect a lot of volatility so my my suggestion would be uh, to remain on the sidelines and just you know watch this for fun jump into the live video with us later this afternoon and you know just kind of watch that play out you, we can you know talk in the chat about what's going on if there's questions and things like that anyhow let's keep this thing moving over on the daily RSI this is over 30 days so it's not going to have as much of an impact you know and on the short time frame that we're looking at today however this is still right at 50 so very much neutral over on the Bitcoin MACD uh, on Monday we were talking about this possibly crossing 
However, we pointed out that, you know, the you can't just expect that. There was a very good chance of seeing this MACD line, which is the, the orange line underneath, bouncing and getting rejected off that signal line, which is actually what happened. Over on the stochastic cross 30 days, you can see we did get a bullish cross back here on April 30th, and we've been pulling back ever since. Over on average price, if you hover over the candles, I actually like zooming out a little bit and then hovering over and you can see higher or I'm sorry a uh, lower highs and uh, lower lows although if you look on the bigger macro picture we are in an overall uh, bullish move still just because we are currently putting in lower lows and lower highs does not necessarily the ne ne negate the fact that we're in an overall bullish trend I mentioned this before I wouldn't consider us showing really a change of character which would be you know switch into an overall bearish trend until we broke around this twenty five thousand dollar level so that's just something to keep an eye on jumping back into the range report however if we look over on the on balance volume you can see that this has been stacked back up after we saw that deplete uh, back here starting on April 18th the average directional movement index is sub 25 line we are down 21 which is sub trend reading ultimate oscillator is still pulling back remember this is over 30 days as well so this is currently at 46 over on the Bitcoin parabolic stop and reversal over 30 days we did just get our second consecutive sell signal Fibonacci retracement is still playing out. Candles with Hikaki. Uh, on Monday, we did get a soft confirmation of a bear signal. And since then, we've gotten a solid confirmed bear signal on that same day. Over on the Copac curve, you can see that we have pulled back up and are just about back to that zero line. And with the little bit of a curl that I'm seeing there, we were we were curious if when this came back to the zero line if we were going to kind of chop around it like we did here or whether we were just going to plow through it looks like we are getting a little bit of a curl here towards the end which would indicate we're probably most likely going to see a little bit of choppy action uh, which would tell us we're not we're most likely not going to see that explosive of a move so this is just one indicator however looking down on historical you can see that bitcoin range report is hitting on over 90 percent accuracy so super stellar there so you know overall we do have a lot of uh bearish signals uh flash in front of us although if we were to make a a steep pullback that would allow some of those to reset and uh you know flip to be able to support a push to the upside so as far as today's video we're actually just going to leave it there if you got anything of value go ahead and smash that like button and i am greatly looking forward to seeing you folks jump in with us on the live video later today as we listen to jerome powell's speech as we watch the price action of bitcoin simultaneously so we will catch you folks on the next video hope you crush your wednesday see ya like like comment and subscribe